Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a basic everyday um, tutorial. Um, I posted on what would like to be seen more, either another haul because I do have a lot of stuff so that video will be going up as well or tutorial and this is the highest one that I got. I apologize, the lighting is like we're in my bathroom. <laughs> so this is what you get. But I've already um, primed my face, or sorry, I've already moisturized my face and everything. So I'm going to start with a primer and almost everything in this will be drugstore affordable. And if not, I will link one that's very similar to the product that I'm using that you can pick up. Um, that's something that you can use every day and not have to blow the bank. So first off, I'm going to start with this e.l.f. Mineral Face Primer. Um, it's about $6. I'm going to go a couple pumps on my hand. And it is a silicone type. I really like primers like this because I find that they make the makeup just sit really nicely on my face. And I'm just going to go over. So we're all primed. Now I'm going to take my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I am in the shade 101 Classic Ivory. I have very, very pale skin with pinky type undertones. And this one just suits and it gets it gives uh, good coverage. I have a wet Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge right here. I apologize for the condition. Um, these are a cheaper version of a beauty blender. And I'm going to take that... And start bouncing it. And I'm trying to go from the center of my face out to blend. Sorry, I'm using the camera on my phone because my mirror is open and my camera is sitting there. So if I get really close like this, <laughs> it's just because I'm trying to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. Okay, so I've got my foundation on. Now I'm going to go over that with a loose powder. And this is the e.l.f. Mineral Foundation in the shade Fair. And I'm taking the e.l.f. powder brush. It's a flat top brush. I'm going to swirl it around a little bit here. And I'm just going to go over my skin to help set it. This will help your makeup from fading throughout the day. And it'll help if you have oily skin or combo skin. It'll help you from getting slick throughout the day. I'm going to blend it down through my neck so I don't have that telltale line. And there we go. All right, so next I'm going to do my brows, and I'm taking my Maybelline Brow Drama Pro Palette. Um, I got this at Walmart for $10, and this is in the shade Blonde. I'm going to take the little dual-ended brush that comes here, and I'm going to use that to apply the wax first, because I don't have a lot of brows, but they do like to get a little crazy sometimes and go off in their own little direction. So this just helps the powder to stick and it helps to set them. I'm gonna take the little spoolie that comes with and I'm just gonna brush it through. Honestly, brows are the thing that take me the longest. Like it feels like they take me 500 hours. Let's just be real. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. small angled brush. This is from their studio line, it's about $3. I'm gonna go into the brow powder in the palette and I'm going to just go over where my natural hairs are and try and define them a little more and then I'll be filling in using upward strokes so it's not too heavy and it doesn't look too painted on. 
And then my brow tail doesn't really exist. But I'm just gonna lightly go over that. Okay, so that's one. This one's a little bit thicker naturally. I do usually like to uh, trim. I don't pluck at all. This is just what God gave me. So I don't trim. Or sorry, I don't pluck. I just trim extra hairs and that one looks really fucky. I'm gonna take that spoolie again and I'm gonna brush the product through. This gives your brows a more natural look so it doesn't look like you just drew them on even though I literally just did. And then what I like to do is I like to take a concealer pencil and draw around. So I'm taking the NYX Wonder Pencil in light and I go around my brow. And then I'm also gonna bring it under here for this one. And I'm gonna take my middle finger and my ring finger and I'm blending down and into. It gives it a more natural look. Okay, so next I'm gonna do eyes and it's always nice to start with a primer. I'm using my Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer by Elizabeth Mott. Um, you can also use a concealer if you don't have a primer as well as um, e.l.f. makes a really good one too. And you just take a small amount and apply it to your lid. I use my finger. This is going to help to make your eyeshadow stay on because it's a little bit tacky. Just poke myself in the eye and it really hurt. And it's also going to help to make your eyelid look uniform so it provides a nice base. Another thing that's really good for priming is the NYX um, eyeshadow pencil in milk. It's white, it's a nice tacky base, and it does work really well. Next I'm going to take something new I got here. This is the Crown Brush Neutral Palette. Um, I picked this up from Hot Look, and we're going to go in with some nude matte shades. So first I'm going to take this Eye Defining Brush by e.l.f. This is only a dollar, and I'm going to go in with this darker chocolatey color here and you can use any eyeshadow you want for this this is just the palette that I've been using lately and you're gonna draw not draw you're gonna pat it on kind of in the corner of your eye it's okay if it doesn't look perfect because we're gonna blend it out later just a wee bit just that outer corner of the eye there Okay, and then I'm gonna take this fluffy brush here. Um, this is a tapered blending brush. And what a fluffy brush is, is it's just something not super, super dense. It's nice and fluffy, and it's something for adding soft color or for blending out eyeshadows. This one's by Luxie. And I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is almost like a milk chocolate, I wanna say, caramely type. Tap off extra. And I'm gonna take that right into the crease. And it does look a little dark, but I promise I will show you tricks to blend it out and make it look more uniform. I just really like these because they're easy to apply crease color and you don't over pack it. Okay, next I'm taking my Real Techniques base shadow brush. I got this in a set. Real Technique brushes are really good if you're just starting out. Um, and then I'm gonna take this matte shade down here and matte means there's no shimmer. If you're doing a matte there should be no shimmer. Just a nice color on your lid. And then I'm also going to take this shimmery shade here, this goldy shade, and I'm going to put that right in the center not all the way, just right in the center, and it's going to help to make that eye look pop a little bit. 
I'm just patting it on. Next, I'm going to take a fluffier blending brush, and this one is by Crown Brush. It's their Deluxe Blending Crease Brush. I got this on Hot Look for $3. And I'm just going to go back in here and soften those colors up. And when you're doing any sorts of blending, you want to go in with a clean, fluffy brush. Next, I'm going to take an eye smoker brush. So that's like a little, they're called pencil brushes, I guess. But it's this little tip here. And I'm going to take that chocolatey brown that we first used on the outer crease. And I'm gonna go right against the lash line here. I'm gonna take that smudge, or sorry, that uh, fluffy brush again and smoke it out a little bit. Then I'm taking this dual ended crease and shadow brush by Crown Brush and I'm going to take this shimmery shade right here which is kind of white but it'll add a nice pop and I'm going to go right in the inner corner of my eye and down the bottom lash line and it'll help to open up your eyes and make you look a bit more awake, which as a parent and someone who does shift work, I could always use help with that. Once again, I'm going to take, if I can find it, I'm going to take a fluffier brush and blend it in. So it doesn't look so out of place because the shade is a little off from what I already put on my lids. Next for the brow bone, um, the Maybelline palette, excuse me, does come with this little highlighter shade here. It's a powder. I'm taking a domed shadow brush. Um, this is just the one I like to use and it's a dome shape and this is by Real Techniques as well. And I'm just going to go over and into that brow bone and bringing it down into the crease. It'll help blend it all together and it won't look so harsh. I'm going to take a fluffier brush. This is the e.l.f. complexion brush. I'm going to use it to dust off any shadow that's under my eyes. Because now we're going to go in and we're going to conceal. First, I'm going to start with this Maybelline Dream Lumi pen. Just picked this up at Walmart. It was $9. And it clicks up into this little dispenser. And I'm going to take the product around my eyes and down in a triangle motion. That'll help fill that in and it'll help to brighten the under eyes and it's better, I find, to do the triangle than it is to just do under the eyes because it helps it look more uniform. You will notice this is a yellow tone and I said I was pink tone, but yellow is going to help neutralize anything I got going on under there. And I'm also going to take a little bit of this. I'm also going to take a little bit of this and put it on my chin because I got some beasties down there. I'm going to take it down my nose to highlight because it's a lighter shade and a little bit on the forehead. Next I'm going to take my Real Techniques blender and start blending that out. as close to my eye as I can without actually going into the eye because I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to pat that in. This lighting is making me look absolutely zombified. I look so tired. But that's why we're putting on makeup. 
right? So we're gonna take that uh, e.l.f. mineral foundation that I used to set my face, and I'm gonna use it to set my under eye. I'm using the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. It's a small little fluffy, dense brush. And I got some product on here, and I'm gonna pat that in. Bring it down my nose. This, once again, is gonna help to set the concealer, less creasing, yas. You can use a translucent setting powder or like I'm using a loose face powder, whatever you feel comfortable with. I just really like the way this sets. Next we're gonna do eyeliner and I'm using the NYX slide on pencil in the shade Perfect Brown. It's almost gone, but I love this pencil. And we're going for a softer look. That's why I'm not going with black. Brown looks really good with uh, blue eyes. So if you have blue eyes, you rock that brown. Not like I'm going to tell you what not to wear. Makeup is anyone's playground. You can do whatever you wish with it. I just like the way brown looks. Next for mascara, I'm going to use this All May One Coat Get Up and Grow. I just picked this up. It's supposed to help lengthen your lashes, and I really like how natural it looks. The brush is really nice. It's a bit of a drier formula that I'm used to. But it goes on really nice, and it's not too wet. So I don't have to worry about it sneaking up onto my eyelid there. My lashes don't curl for the life of me. I've tried everything. Like, I've tried different types of mascara. I've tried different types of curlers. I literally cannot get these bad boys to hold a curl. We're gonna do a highlighter. I like to do highlighting on my cheeks if I, even if I don't do a contour. I'm not contouring today. I'm just doing highlight and blush. Contour is not something I wear every day and this is like an everyday thing for me so that's why I'm not doing it. So I'm taking my NARS Illuminator in Orgasm. I got this as a bonus from Sephora. Got some on my hand here. It's a really nice pinky peach shimmer there and I'm going to dab a little bit on with my fingers right on the cheekbone and slightly above. This is going to add some color and some shine. Once again some of these are higher end like the NARS is a higher end product but I will be linking down below ones that you can buy that are similar. I'm taking a tapered blending brush. This one's by e.l.f and using padding motions, bringing it out and blending it in. Out and in, out and in. And you're gonna see that's adding a nice shine there, nice little glow to the cheek. You can use this by itself or with a blush. I will be doing a blush today as well because I'm not doing contour. I wanna do a blush as well. So just helps to warm up my face. Next for blush, I'm gonna take my Luxie large angled blush brush and I'm going to use my Bare Minerals, um, the natural high blush. It's a nice peachy shimmery, but it's gonna go with that highlighter. And we're gonna do very light you don't need a lot, just a little. You can see that's added a bit of color here. I look really washed out in here. Next, I'm taking a big old fluffy brush. I don't know what brand this is. I got it for Christmas, didn't have a brand. But I'm gonna take this and kind of blend that all together. When in doubt, blend, blend, blend. It's all you gotta do. 
Next, I'm gonna take a makeup setting spray. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. And I'm gonna bathe in it. If you don't use a makeup setting spray, I highly recommend that you do. It'll help your makeup stay put, even if it's just for a few hours. Elf makes one, they're about $3. Um, I don't know about helping the longevity of your makeup, but it definitely helps get rid of your uh, cakiness if you happen to wear powder a bit. And I know Maybelline makes one too. I think they just came out with one, but I haven't tried it yet. Next for the lips, I'm going all neutral again. Well, sheer. I guess I have very pigmented lips, so um, I don't really need a lot. I'm going to take my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Eclair. I absolutely adore these glosses. They're amazing. Gives just a light wash of color. It looks pretty good. And... We are done. All right guys, so that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped you out. I hope you discovered some new products you wanna try. Um, leave me a comment down below if there's any other videos you'd like to see me do. Um, feel free to like it if you like it. This is my first one. I'm a little nervous. If you're not already and you'd like to see me next time, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and hopefully I will see you next time. All right, bye.